Welcome to a Lazy Edit. Today we're going to be making a character based off of my two favorite games, Animal Crossing and Wind Waker. Said that it's inspired by those two games, I kind of wanted to create the body relatively similar. Well, I mean, kind of. I also played around with making it a non-humanoid character, so I gave it like a leaf and tried to turn him into an orange, and I think that turned out pretty okay. Since it's a character inspired by those two games, I also made the eyes use texture swapping to sort of change the facial expressions around, which means if I wanted to, I could also technically give them dramatically different faces. I also thought it would be a good idea to make eyebrows move by simply just rotating them from the center of the head, making it relatively easy to change facial expressions. That was two weeks of work in about 50 seconds. For me, this is a long project, and I didn't know how well it was turning out, and I was starting to overthink this project, so I sent it out to a few people to try to give me feedback on it, and luckily, the feedback was positive. So I had to stop doubting the project and just keep pushing through it. I know there's a ton of different software for this, but for me, this was the perfect opportunity for me to try to learn Unity. So I imported my character to Unity, which had interesting side effects, but eventually we got the model working pretty much as intended. Next, I really wanted to import expressions, so I turned all those expressions into animations and made a custom blinking animation just by swapping textures. I had been using Unity's animation system, but I found out you could just animate with code, so I just did that instead. I also wanted to work on some mouth movement. For now, I just kind of want the mouth to open whenever I make a noise into the microphone. I'm a little bit outside of my comfort zone though, but I found this code on Stack Overflow and we're just gonna modify that. It works by finding the microphone and just recording an audio clip. And then we do some fancy math here that I'm not entirely sure what it does, but it ends up giving us a really big number with a ton of decimal points. And I don't know how we're gonna use that. So I had to convert it uh, into something that I could actually understand. Zero is quiet and anything above that is loud. That's way easier. So I wanted everything to be controlled with inputs. I even wanted to look around with inputs, but I didn't think using a keyboard was a good idea. So instead, I think we're gonna be looking around wherever the mouse looks. For this, we're just gonna track our mouse position and then multiply it by a small number to try to limit its movement around so that we're able to look at wherever the mouse looks. Yeah, and what I tested out, totally checks out, it, it works. This was not the original intent of this project, but I, I do like the results of this. We could change the uh, facial expressions around if we want. It's great. I, I feel like there's a few things that we could go ahead and change. Uh, probably one of them would be the mouth animation, but that is for another time, I think. 